Right, go for it. Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Right, this video might look a bit weird because at first you'll see the engine in the car, then you're going to see it out. I've done a full video on everything of this car, doing the timing chain, water pump and everything, so I had to take the engine out. So then I'm going to split it into little bits separately and this little bit happens to be the injector. And if you want to see what happened to the engine at the beginning of the video, you'll have to watch the full video and then you'll understand that. Right before I start this video series, and it's going to be a big video series because it's engine out, it's doing the chain, it's doing water pumps, band belts, servicing the automatic gearbox, doing absolutely everything on this 2010 Mercedes E class. It's a W212. This Right, so, like I said, this is a big, big job. The first thing I'm going to do, the only bit I'm kind of worried about, is the injectors. We have to take the injectors out, um, because we have to take the rock cover off to set the timing up. So, the injectors have to come out. I've just had this ticking over for about an hour, an hour and a half. Get them nice and warm. That does cause problems, because it's obviously quite hot when you go to it. Um, but it also makes the, hopefully makes the injectors come out better. A few things to be aware of. You can see the little white mark on the return pipes of the injectors. That means that it is locked. So you have to push these down like that so you can't see them. So you then know that um, we can get this out essentially. So I'll go through all that once I uh, start on doing everything. Right, the really good thing is the first ones came out really easy. So I just want to show you the way I'm going to do it. So I'm going to mark everything. I've got a little box here and I've marked the first pipe number one. I've marked the injector number one. Now we can take this off here and put it in there. It's bloody hot. Um, all you need, 17 mil and a T47 torque and Tipex and a screwdriver. So first thing you need to do I'll try and film it. Like I was explaining before, you see that little white mark? We need to lift this up, you have to be very careful. Lift that up, as you see to there. That will then release the, come on, come on, one hand, a bit of a nightmare. Come on, it'll release the, come on, the return. Anyway, one hand's a nightmare. Next thing I do is take off the, um, the the feed pipe going to it. Then we'll take off the clip, then we get to the T47, which actually holds it down. It's just underneath the clip there, you can't quite see it. What I'm gonna do, just to make it easy for myself, is I'm gonna take off all the actual clips going to the injectors, and you just push down, just see it, can you see it there? Just push down that little clip, the silver part comes out. I'll try and do it. So awkward doing it one-handed. Where are we? Here, just pull down on that. There we go, like that. You see that clip comes out. So I'm going to take all them off first. That will just allow me to actually take off the, 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 the wires going to it so I can get to the injectors easier. Right, now, there you go, look. You can see the T47, that holds it down. I've just taken off the wiring going to the injectors. Disconnected the uh, sense here at the top of the engine. Just gives me a lot more room. But first, I need to take off this and mark this. Right, hopefully this comes off okay. Does kind of feel a bit scary because they can click. Try and do this one handed is a bit awkward. And like I said, the other awkward thing is because it's bloody hot, but it's the best way of doing it. Now I keep the bolts with the injector just in case, get a bar and be very very careful and just slightly leave it up, look at that, and I'm being seriously careful here now, and there we go, another one off, and so far we've got the washers off as well, I'm replacing all the washers obviously. But it's just handy to know if you've got the washers off because if you don't take them off 
and especially you do all the engine stripping and that, you might forget it's in there and put a second washer on and then you're in trouble. So I'm going to mark this injector number two now. Right, okay, lucky enough, they are all out and the customer's going to be happy. So, um, I've marked everything, I've marked the injector, I've marked this and I've put the original one back. Now the only thing is, on injector number four, the washer didn't come with it. But all the other washers came with it, so I've just got to take injector number four washer out, which is no big deal, hopefully. I'm going to do that now before I go any further so I don't forget. Right, number one, number two, number three, and number four, the copper washer is just there. But it's going to be nice and easy to remove that. I say that, but I shouldn't have said that now, should I? <gasps> I'm going to try and do this one-handed. This is my little injector washer seal remover slide hammer thing. It is bloody brilliant. So, slides down. It slides down. Just look at that. No, it doesn't. Sometimes this here gets in the way. Let's remove that. I can't do it one-handed. All right, let's try again. So goes down. Does it actually go down? It does. Just twist it. Oh, maybe it doesn't go down. Hold on. Is this going to be a bit worse than I thought? Maybe it doesn't go down. Bagger! Is it still there? It is. I couldn't get it, so hopefully, a bit of compressed air. Where are we? Ah! Look, where is it? There it is, there it is. Compressed air for the win in that case. Boom. Right, look at that, how off centered it was. So there wasn't long left on that before it was leaking. None of them was leaking, but what I'm getting at is it wasn't long left. So we're going to be replacing all them with new ones anyway. Things you have to do to work on Mercedes, because Mercedes just likes to be different to everybody. So I was trying to cut the valve seats. I was going to cut three of them, put three injectors in, and do the last one on camera. But I need a 15, but I've only got a 15, 19. Oh, come on focus and anyway, I've only got a 1519 focus focus there we go and the 19 part is too big to go down here so I'm gonna have to I put this onto the drill I'm gonna have to go to this put it on here spin that spin the drill at the same time obviously once the motor is running to grind that down so it'll work Happy days, just, don't you love Mercedes? Does a nice job. Okay, my tool is modified. <laughs> it's ridiculous. But I wanted to show you, that's one I haven't done. That's one I have done. That's one I have done. And this is one I've started at. Now, if the light, now, here we go. You can see half of it's cut and half of it's still the old colour. Can you see that? That's all one colour. And you can kind of see, when I get the camera angle right, you can kind of see how this bottom bit here is, is still half the colour because it's just not cut all the way. And it's very simple. You just put the tool down and you twist it. You can put a little bit of grease on the end of the tool just to pick up the little bits. But, there we go, look at that. Um, tiny bit more. Um, but believe me, you know, they're very small bits. They don't really do anything. Once you blow it out with an airline, you're going to be fine. And there we go. That's all completely shiny now. So it's just this next one to do. Let me just blow that off with an airline first. So, blow that off. Blow that off. Airline is leaking. It's really annoying. Stop, there we go. I'm not pressing hard, just a little bit of pressure. Again, you can see that one's only half done. Bit more. And then we've got them all cut. 
And it's really one of them things that, look, if they're not bad, you can kind of, you don't have to go mental on it and you can kind of get away with it. Um, it's only if they've been leaking that they're really bad. It's like a, you know, it's like a head gasket. If you're replacing, or you're doing work on an engine, yes, you have to replace the head gasket. But you don't have to get the head skinned if it was never warped. So, um, similar to these, if it's not gone, it's only because of all the work I've done with this, that's the only reason I'm doing this. Normally, I might not actually have cut them because they weren't bad. Well, the fact that they just weren't bad, but a tiny bit more. And then uh, we can put them on. We've got our new washers. And again, these are the washers and they are special washers. They're a kind of, it's hard to see on camera, but they're kind of a mushroom shape on both ends. Um, so we're replacing all the, all the washers with new ones. And the injector tool I was using was from Hubby Tools. It's a HU41004. And uh, yeah, I'll have to send them pictures of my modification. <laughs> Tell him it was expertly done um, on a lathe. Anyway, it's done. They are all cut. They are all shiny, 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 shiny. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to stick three injectors in, stick the pipes in, and I'll show you the last one, um, how I did it. Right, got one, two, and three in. Um, very handy. So, oh sorry, three, four, three, and two. This is how they come, or that's how they came out. So I'm now going to clean this, get all that old grease off, wire wash, wire wash, wire brush all of it, because it's a little bit, it's not, they're not bad, but you know, just wire brush everything. You can see here's the new seals, these are the old ones, you can just see how much the centre holes have opened out compared to the newer one. So it's good to replace them anyway. We've recut everything, so it should be good. So just clean this now and get ready to install it. Okay, so it has been cleaned. You can see, it's looking very shiny. Put some new grease on it. This is really high temperature grease. There's no bits or anything in it like there would be in copper grease. Not cheap grease, but You kind of have to wonder, does this really work? I mean, these came out nice and easy, but I've greased injectors and cars and vans that are a nightmare, and they always seize, and they're still seized even with the grease. So I think it just really depends on, on the car, not so much the grease, to be honest. But anyway, so I've also greased the top slightly just because what that will do is that will hold the washer on. See? So what we now need to do, get this back on. And just set it down. Wow. Can't believe that's just actually fallen. Unbelievable. The only one to do it, not a problem, I'll just lay it down flat, roll it there, and then I'll put the injector on top of it. All the others, not filmed, went down. Lovely. This one, oh, had to, had to do something, didn't it? Had to do something different. Don't actually like the way it's sitting down. <laughs> the wash has gone with it. T47. And be careful because um, you want to put them back in the same place anyway because you don't know if they need programming and if you haven't got the tools to program, if you put them back in the same place where well, you don't need to do anything because they're already pre-programmed. Pre so there we go, so got to put the two feed pipes on there and then our engine is basically back together. Right, they're all in. Now, 
just put a little bit of lube on the o-rings just to help them go in a little bit easier and once you've got it all pushed in remember you see the white little line there i said at the beginning of the video and just push that down and it's in hear the click and now you can see the white line so now you know that's definitely in properly Just leveling itself out there and if you saw that little stumble now it's kind of seems fine listen to that baby purr oh yes right we are all good now you have to bear in mind when you do massive work on an engine like this so many things can go wrong things can break even though they're not your fault especially modern injectors you can take an injector out and put it back in it could have been working and then bang it just goes what I didn't film is because it just took a, it just took too long and I wasn't sure what was going on. But you heard the engine initially. It didn't. It took a long time to start after it started initially, um, and then we got injector one fault code. We got injector four fault code. We got a few fault codes coming up, and the engine sounded really bad. It was missing. It wasn't firing properly. It wasn't doing everything. So what I did is I just undone, undone all the injector um, electrical connections and just put them all back in. Right, when you do injector work, uh, when you replace injectors, when you take them out and all that sort of stuff, the engine will kind of stumble. It does take a while for it to kind of come back in, so don't worry about it. Um, if you have any issues, just take all the plugs off and pl put them back in, clear all the fold codes and uh, let it tick over, let it come up to temperature before you take it for a drive and then you should be good to go.